Dear Insiders and welcome back for another YouTube trailer review. Yes, I said trailer because today it is going to be about a trailer that just released like 16 hours ago, which this trailer is called Epic Game. Yes, uh, when when I saw that there is going to be a trailer releasing um, about Epic Game, I didn't know what it is. But when I saw the trailer, mind blown. That is all what I need to say. It is a mind blown. Uh, so yeah, uh, the producers from the Abigail trailer are Matt Bettany Olpin and also Tyler Gillett. Those who do, my, you might not know who are those duo producers, they are behind from the last two screen films, which are Screen 5 and Screen 6, and from the Radio Not film, which they were glowed in the uh, mystery. Um, uh, as I, from my perspective, um, it is known that Abigail movie is gonna be a part of the current wave films based on the iconic universal monsters and centers on an, an attempted kidnapping that goes horribly wrong. And there are Yanko of people which are tasked with keeping the evidence girl in prison, which is introduced in the trailer, which it also tracks the kidnapping. And the scene becomes more unsettling because um, when Abigail confines in her captor Joey and she also adds, I'm sorry, and what's gonna happen to you? Um, uh, yes, she says, I'm sorry, and what, what's about gonna happen to you? Uh, when I heard that phrase, it obviously is a mind blow, because you might know what will happen next in this movie. Um, uh, by the way, this movie is a horror mo movie. Um, uh, can't wait to release in the IMAX theaters and cinemas so that I go watch it, but it will be amazing for sure. Um, um, in the in this teaser also Abigail can also be show, showing um uh, can be shown transforming into a vampire and growling while while sporting a whole set of razors sharp fangs um like that uh, but what does Abigail trailer exactly reveals um uh, first of all the fact that the title character is Abigail and there is a clip which is an Abigail clip which is a vampire which is confirmed. But it appears to only obviously um are similar to uh, or the originally Dracula's daughter. Um uh, that film which centered on Gloria Holdings uh, uh, that vampire countless. Um uh, but it doesn't appear to be directly related to the story points that were disclosed in this teaser. Um uh, for me, if Abigail is a modern take on the beloved Dracula sequel from the nineteen third one, then it's about a loose to remake as it's quickly and commercially successful 2020 film um, about the Invisible Man. Um, Abigail is also a return to the tone of their movie, Ready or Not, as well. Part of the cast are, which they are well as bringing Melissa Barrera, which um, we saw in the news that she was fired from Scream 6, but she is making a comeback. She was a star in Scream 5 and Scream 6. But now she's gonna make a comeback and um, back to join the group Radio Silence, which also comprises Bethany Olpin and Gillette. Um, and this is shown in the manner that there is a real fear which is blended with the cunning humor and in the beauty of the house setting of the film. Um, as the group um, of mismatched criminals tries to fight back, and there are their emotion to the vampire in a mind shifts towards humor, which it is including a quick questioning if Abigail is and rise for vampire. Uh, obviously this is in contrast to the setup which it depicts pure classical horror. Uh, the Abigail teaser demonstrates how it seems it seems seamlessly blends um, with the ancient with the new, along with a tone similar of James White's iconic horror comedy The Old Dark Horse, but with a contemporary twist of meta humor. Um, uh, there are an assemble of contemporary general stars, which it brings life to the place um, associated with the horror films. Um, as I said, Barrera is among the cast, Melissa Barrera is among the cast, which is she is along with Dan Stevens from The Guest, um, Kevin Duran from The Strain, and Catherine Norton from The Freaky, who they are also featured in the forthcoming Lisa Frankenstein movie. Um, yes, that is the Abigail teaser trailer. It's not an official trailer, it's just a teaser trailer that it might show some interesting facts um, of what is going to happen in the movie. It is a 2 minute and 20 second uh, trailer, long. Um, um, 
I can't wait to, to watch it in the cinemas. It is for sure going to be a horror one. I think it is going to be the most anticipated um, 2024 movie horror. Uh, for sure, the most anticipated movie horror of 2024 will be Terrifier 3. For me, no doubts. Um, I really like Terrifier 3. But this will have a competition between them. Um, I think Epic Game will make a good um, box office sale. And also will make a good horror movie. Um, so yeah. As a trailer, I rated um, an 8 out of 10. Um, I rated an out of 10. First of all, the CGI it looks perfect. The cast looks perfect. Especially Melissa Barrera is making a comeback again. Um, uh, but we need to watch the movie. So yeah, I am hoping that we will watch this movie. Um, um, but other than that, I am looking forward to watch this movie. Um, uh, Hopefully, I don't I don't know exactly when it is gonna release, but it will release this year. Um, uh, so yeah, we will find out. Um, that's all what I had to say, dear insiders. Thank you for joining and watching many, many, many reviews of mine. I really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. Uh, subscribe for more, please, and uh, stay tuned for another, maybe another trailer or maybe another movie review. Who knows. Thank you for so much for joining guys and we'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned and good day. Bye bye.